for about a place of year. So he came out instead of staying for the summer, he bought the place when he came and then he lived here for 14 years. In New York, he was using professional models. And when he came up here, looked around, saw the people here in Ireland, he decided he'd use us. So he used around 200 of us, really? the models, and I was one of them. And uh, he, instead of just sitting, he had a professional photographer who took oh, many, many pictures. And then from that, he would do a sketch and a charcoal. You know, see the one I'm in? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Russell was the doctor here in town for between 50 and 60 years. He lived in the building next door. And this is my husband, myself, our daughter, and our son. I've got the whole family. It isn't everybody that has rock over the whole family. Uh, it wasn't a cover. It was the uh, center of the Saturday Evening Post, so it's one of those larger uh, paintings. The original is down in Stockbridge. Uh, our son came home from school about five days after we'd been down and posed with five dollars. He said that Mr. Rockwell had gone up and gotten out of school because he wanted him with his school clothes on. I have him with a nice little white shirt. So he made ten dollars, Norman paying us five dollars each time we uh, posed to make any difference. And Dr. Russell's desk looked exactly like that. Um, Norman, now you'd probably want Norman did probably uh, 4,000 things in his uh, lifetime. He was very much interested in the Boy Scouts. He did the Boy Scout uh, calendars for around 18 years. He did illustrations for books and magazines. He did a few portraits, not too many. And he used uh, oil on canvas. Uh, did a few charcoals, but not too many. He, as far as I know, he didn't do any of the uh, watercolors, because he said they were a little harder to do what he did that. Uh, having three boys, you find more boys in his pictures than you do girls. And he used himself quite a lot, he used his wife several times. But the only pick one that we know of, only thing that he did that had the whole family, is this one here. And this was done in 48 for the Christmas uh, card evening postcards. And there's Norman and Mary and the three boys, and they're all people from Arlington except Grandma Moses. And she lived over at Eagle Bridge. You may know, heard about it. She's a primitive artist. Uh, Dr. O'Neill had a little girl, and so he made uh, twins out of her. Uh, Norman had a marvelous sense of humor. And he never put a name on any of his paintings because he said they told a story and they didn't have to have a name. So they end up with many names, like the one that I'm in. It's called The Country Doctor. It's called The Family Doctor. It's called The Annual Visit. And the first things he did when he came to Arlington the Four Freedoms, he did that for the war effort. And I think that brought him around. I mean, I mean, 50 more million dollars in uh, bonds that they sold. The reason he left Arlington was his wife Mary was ill at the doctor in Stockbridge. He went down there to be with her. The boys finished from school here. Then she died about five years later. And then he remarried after that. And I think Molly, his third wife, died about three years ago. And he lived to be 84 years old and 78. Have fun seeing that. <laughs> and where he lived was down in West Arlington. You go down here and you take your next left by the church and the cemetery. You go down four and a quarter miles and you see this uh, bridge. And this house up here is where he lived. And it's a bed and breakfast place. And there's a little building off here with a little schoolhouse where his children started school. They started off in the school. Have you broken it? No. Oh, that is the uh, plate that uh, Gorham, using that picture, is the plate that Gorham has done for their uh, Christmas. Okay. Yep. Uh, Norman was always looking for props. You know, he was in his things. In the first studio, he had your burn. He lost a lot of his props. And well, for instance, he knocked at my door one day and he said he got a teddy bear because he needed one in one of his pictures. But he was over in uh, Paris studying. Uh, and uh, when they man cheap over there and he saw a helmet, it's, it's this helmet, but it's like this one. And he went in to buy it and it was too expensive, so he didn't buy it. But during the night he thought, well, maybe they'd come down on the price with it. So he went back the next day and they finally came down on the price. And he was very, very happy with his antique until they had a fire over in Paris and the fire department went by and every fireman was wearing an identical uh, helmet. So he didn't get an antique after all. So just to show that he could be should be humble like everybody else. He put it on his um, easel, and it's, the original is still on it down in Stockbridge. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.